What is up, Suki guys and Suki gals? It's your boy Drunk Squirrel, and welcome back to Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Because that shit looks poisonous, and I don't want to jump in it. Jumpy, jumpy. What is too deep to diverge safely? Okay. Gotcha, game. So, guys, this is a direct continuation. I can't get through that door. I can't get through any of these doors. What is too deep? Need to hit this switch. The switch. What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to greasy with? Oh. That's why I still have the glass jar. Look at that shit. It's kind of weird that there's oil coming down here, but okay. Wait a second, is there no way that I can use this shit? Oh, fucking... oh you have got to be joking me. Come on. Smash the bitch. Aha! Success is mine! <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Is this a lever? Control. What the fuck did that do? Uh, notes. Mementos. Prepare the machine powering the eastern bridge. To enter the sewer, it must first be drained. Okay. Okay, gotcha, game. Is in the control room. Oh, I don't like that loading screen. The blue light blinded him as it had done inside the murky tomb in Nigeria. It was just as enchanting, and he tried to approach it, but the Baron firm hand held him down. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Okay, random noises now opening that door. Heavy gate. Let me block up that door because that does not sound like a good idea to just leave my backside open while I try to open a door. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, it has a opening mechanism on the other side of the door as well. I thought it was going to just lock me in here. I've been like, in hindsight, that probably wasn't a good idea. Okay. It's on the table over here. Ooh, cool stuff. Wooden crank. It's a hammer, too. Won't be picking that up. Uh, switches! Bling! 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 Guys, read this. Because yeah, it was way too Oh sneaky, sneaky developer. Very sneaky. <coughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on, guys. Alright. Wait, it's stuck. Oh, this one's already all the way down, okay. 
Okay. What is this cool door go? Well, there, hello. Anything you want to give me in here? Anything at all? Fucking boxes. Fucking boxes. Girl. I'm more of a crate man myself. Oh, no, no, there we go. Alright. Yeah, all I was supposed to do, where does he want to go to? Hello? Hello? We need to get these faces back up and working, huh? What the fuck am I? What, what the fuck is that affecting? Okay, yeah, what the fuck is that affecting? Oh. It enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room? Eh, well, that, that too. too. <laughs> but mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. Okay. So... that sound. Run and jump. Run and jump. Ugh. Okay. It meets it. It meets it, guys. 
Oh, you've got to be joking me. Those things are down here, too. Oh, fuck. 7th of August, 1839. <clears throat> there is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander <laughs> is a true renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. Da Vinci. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. I see. Redirect sewer water. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that can't be good. What the fuck did I just do? But there are valves in the system to redirect the water from the sewer. Okay. I have to redirect all that water. So there has to be more than one switch. There's probably like two or three guys. So bear with me. As I continue my journey. It's in here. Oh, thank God. somebody in the chamber. Yeah, it looks like there's someone in the chamber. Somebody's crying in the chamber. Oh, God. Not in the dark. Chill out, game. Alright, I need to make my way across from here to there without dying. Okay. Need any more shit popping up on me, okay? Bad enough. That I had to endure that other shit. Attached to a rusty chain to this. Fuck. How the fuck am I supposed to get that then? The bridge must be lowered to proceed. Is there a place for me to put this crank? Crank slot. Where are you? Slot for the crankiness. Let's crank it up. Okay. Let it go across. Now we'll run across. Ow! What the fuck? It did not hit me that quick. I'm at it turned back on that fast. Like, what the hell? Turn this shit off. Fucking valves. How's my health looking? You cut some bruises, I'll be fine. Okay. I move on. I move on. Woo! Redirect sewer. Yes! Second switch. Can't hear shit. It could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power up to us. Inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of depression. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame them. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the sea. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warning ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects. Okay, so uh, is it going to stop shaking anytime soon? Like that. Okay. We have drained the second thingy. 
Majigger. Okay, so I don't know where the fuck this slot is at. This damn crank. Let's crank it up, guys. Yeah. That is bad. That is bad. That is bad. That is bad. Alright guys, I'm all out of time for this episode and apparently all out of oil. Please join me next time where I find more oil and I don't die in the darkness of the sewer. And as always, Suki ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure.